What's up boys? We're back with some more of the new summer patch. Today we're going to be trying some beam gunner. I think I'm going to try out the two plasma beam weapons here if I can get them and see how they feel with the new beam range weapon level up. And then I'll also be looking for the weapon box artifact to hopefully add another beam weapon on top of that. I think getting the taser on one of the classes who synergizes with beams but can't normally get that would be pretty cool. See how that functions in a full beam weapon build. More for chance. Oh yeah, we'll probably want the coil gun as well because it's really strong at mining. Sure. Why not? But not going to be putting a ton into the Thunderhead here since we're looking to do full beams. Oh yeah, I wanted to do plasma. Oh well, we'll do elemental this time. Potency, some movement speed to help out with the penalty that Heavy Gunner has. Even more crit chance, I guess. Scanner, we'll try it. More weapon range. Although the weird thing about the sludge pump is that it seems to actually leave the poison trails on the ground further out with weapon range. So it can actually make it harder to hit with those. Big pickup. You can actually line the elites up for a lot of damage in the Thunderhead here as well when you're carving out a tunnel in a straight line like that. Although the roly polies also get a nice boost to that. I can't move over there! Grab a bit of heavy reload, that should work on probably everything here. And the sludge pump actually does need some reload speed, unlike most beam weapons. Let's take the reload here. Shard Defractor. I could do it and get the freezing and I think burning on there. Burning wouldn't be very helpful. Nah. We'll take the flamethrower though. Potency. 
more crit damage to go with all that early crit chance we got. Sludge Palm, I'm sure we can check the overclock here. And I think the lifetime's not bad on that since it's fairly short by default. Sludge Palm, weapon range, Sludge Palm, potency, luck. Cryo Cannon. I think ideally I would have had the Coil Gun to mine for me, but honestly, I'm down to try a triple elemental beam build. And if we're super lucky, we can get a fourth elemental beam on a weapon box later on. range, some mining speed. I need to get a lot of mining speed now since I can't get the coil gun to mine for me. Plus one beams. Guess we will grab a bit more crits mining. I'll go ahead and lock these weapon range since I want a lot of that. I'll also need some decent movement speed so I can position the sledge beam correctly. Speed, we need that. Sludge pump, sure. Oh, I guess if I want to eventually get the encabulator for global damage and reload, I will need some overclocks on the Thunderhead though, since that one's been pretty fun recently. Uh, I think I will take the coupons, those are always pretty handy to buy a lot more from the shop. I guess hopefully I'll get a nitro scanner at some point and then I can grab some paint jobs through the shop for it to get the overclocks. Try and bait out the spray out here so I can safely get the gold. Oh, there's two of them. on the left side. 
Almost ran into him. He almost got me. Ah, uh, let's take the level here. some pretty strong debuffs for all of the other weapons with all that potency. I will take a big legendary there. I will probably want some levels on it eventually for the overclock stuff. And it actually is carrying me against the shellbacks right now. Look at that level 2 weapon shredding him. Ah, uh, we need a lot of mining speed. Potency for the cryo cannon is still pretty helpful. Let's grab the potency for that. Some pickup radius. Decent reload. I think I probably wasn't in range of the shellback XP over there. I'll grab a bit of HP. Yeah, there we go. Big potency for paint job. I think I am going to need some paint jobs for that, so I'll go ahead and grab that, and we'll take the plus one beams. A bit more pickup. that I locked XP. I really We're probably fine on Nothing reload now. Potency and a paint job. We do want the damage on that actually since I'm going I'm weapon damage heavy weapon. gunner. Yeah, sure. For me here. Let's try again. Uh, I'll get a bit of armor to go with HP and then I guess Another beam. Scanner off the hoarder, not bad. Ah, uh, that's a pretty big reload for all four weapons, sure. Gold 
tip is pretty good, but I think I'd rather get a scanner or the weapon box if possible. Nah. Nah. Well, I guess we'll take the energy bars for a bunch of damage. Guess I'm not gonna get anything super cool with the artifacts here. But two hoarders on one level. can get a bunch of extra beams on the sludge pump, and with all the potency on it, that'll be a ton of stacks from that. damage for the flamethrower, since we are trying to scale weapon damage on it this time. It does have a balance overclock that I think reduces the lifetime that gives it 100% weapon damage, which you probably wouldn't take on an interrogator since it doesn't really do much there, but it's a bit more interesting on heavy gunner. More damage, I guess? already have a lot of reload speed and it's not that great on the weapons that I have here. Uh, let's take the highest one there, still need levels on the cryo. Probably take the level for that. damage, and there we go, 100% damage, but you lose some lifetime, but it's pretty easy to get it up to a decent lifetime anyways. This one almost makes it too easy. Crit chance, Surely next time we'll be mining speed, XP, this is it. I want another go. XP, some global damage, out. and a bit of Power HP. I do have a gold scanner, let's reroll that and grab some weapon range.
You love how two YouTubers are cooperating instead of competing? Well, I've talked to Farham and Orai, and they're both pretty chill, so I mean, what am I gonna do? I'll get a bit bigger and then I'll start some drama so that we can farm the drama views later on. But we need to build up our bases first. Damage for the flamethrower. Looks like it's critting for about a thousand with that 100% from the overclock. That is a lot of acid numbers. More mining. Ooh, weapon box. That's what I want. I got that Zukov. Cold damage. See, so I have kinetic, acid, fire, cold, so too cold. Would have been cool if it was electric, so I could have had like five different damage types. But cold's actually going to be kind of bad for me. Since I'm probably not getting that much weapon damage on the cryo cannon. Projectile upgrades as well, that's pretty rough. I think that weapon box may have actually made my build worse here. But you only YOLO once. Radius. That is so many numbers. Still pretty slow, so I don't think I wanna play too risky here. I guess some potency on that, more freezing power. Mining speed, some potency, XP. Weapon range, weapon range, potency. I might try and go for 18 on that eventually, but I'd rather have beam upgrades currently. Take the damage for that. Some armor. Movement, definitely need that. Some crit damage. If I get the Zukov up to 18, it will still have some pretty nice freezing bonuses. 
it's just adding both cryo and projectile to the upgrade pool are bad for the run here. Damage, yeah, don't want cryo upgrades. Tabulator, that'll be pretty good with five weapons, but I'm completely dependent on mining speed here. So it's gonna be painful, but I do really like it with the five weapons luck. So that brings me down to 70%, that's not terrible. But I'll have to constantly keep increasing my mining speed to keep up with that. That's kind of wasted. I'm actually looking to scale the damage on that. Probably just reroll this. And this will take the damage on that since it needs levels. And it is 15% damage. The burn won't really do much though. So I think I'm just going to take the plus one beams on it since we're scaling weapon damage instead of status effects here. Other than the sledge bomb, I am pushing status on that so that it debuffs for my other weapons.
Let's grab the level for that, since we do want the overclocks eventually. eventually. They have pretty low HP as well. I want to increase that a bit to keep up with the bars. Uh, let's get some movement speed. I am quite slow right now still. So I need HP to help with the bars, mining speed to help with the encabulator. Take a cheap level there, weapon range, potency, mining speed. It'll get level 18, but there's also a weapon range there. Mining speed, bunch of nitrous stuff I can't afford. Mining, some more crits. Let's try again. Crit damage, and I guess some beam damage. Decent global damage. Gold scanner could still get some decent value out of that. More luck.
a crit damage. And we actually are scaling up the weapons for this run. More mining. How am I doing there? 121. I'm probably fine there. Damage will take the massive weapon rage for that. Good crit chance, some XP. Crit chance. Paint job is useful for getting the overclocks for that. Weapon range. Um, I guess. It's kind of hard to find decent gold upgrades, it feels here, and the cryo is making that even worse. And I'm completely starved on Nitra. A Rolly Boy came at you on the Z axis? What if that's how they spawn? They like launched them off of some sort of bug trebuchet? So they fly at you through the air and then they land on the planet. Damage, since that's more of a hitting weapon here. Sludge Pump is more of a debuffer. Yes. I don't think I really need it. Could get a third gold scanner. And then look for gold tips later on. Drop part. It's about to 
potency will get me an overclock for that, for the encabulator, take the fire rate and reload for more freezing on it. I don't think I want any of this. I'm feeling lucky. Weapon range. This one's so mean. Pick up. Let me try again. Crit damage. Not too more options. Big crit chance. Some weapon Feels range. Rare. Feels right. Let me try again. XP crit damage. Hmm, what else? Weapon range. XP pick up. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And a bit since we're out of nitra anyways. Load up and get going, miner. We have quotas to fulfill. We do need to keep increasing the mining a little bit. There's still overclocks on three different weapons to get that will reduce my mining speed a bit. Don't really have any nitro generating stuff. Ooh, multi tool. Ooh, nitro scanner. Oh, and both of these. We're on the eighth stage, and I did really want multi tool with the five different weapons, so I think we'll go ahead and grab that. 81% reload speed. That goes up to 122. It's not the best build for reload speed since I am pretty much all beam weapons, but still cool with five weapons. been much better if I had the coil gun to mine stuff for me, since that actually fully works with reload speed. More luck. I just wish I could have gotten that nitro scanner a bit earlier so I could actually get some decent weapon levels. Do want paint jobs for that, and I'll take the piercing on it.
more reload than that to try and eventually get some overclock sports. Need some levels on that still. Weapon range, pick up mining. Let's shake it up. Pick up weapon range. Now we're talking. I want another go. Weapon range, some movements. We can finish that one off now and grab the huge weapon range for that. Mining, weapon range. Let's shake it up. Movement. And a bit of HP. So now the flamethrower and cryo cannon should both be gigantic. Yeah, there we go. Grab a level for that. How's my crit doing? 131, 378. That could be a downgrade at this point. So I guess we'll just take the rations. Since both of the crit stats on it are additive and the damage penalty is multiplicative, if you're heavily investing into crit, you will eventually reach a point where it actually lowers your damage. Those are both fine. We can see what else there is level for the Thunderhead. Squinties could probably use a bit of a buff now at the 10 stage dives. It's almost never worth it, it feels like, in these longer runs.
guess, more potency. I think the lifetime on everything is fine at this point. I guess the sludge pump could use a little bit more. to get the level there. Luck, okay, fuck up, weapon range, I want another go. uh, nah, XP, weapon back. range, I'm feeling lucky. some beam I'm damage, stronger. Surely next time we'll be crit better. damage, weapon As range, upgrade, that's a no -brainer. Surely next time we'll be better. cheap level, Nothing for me here. movement, crit again. damage, I'm feeling lucky. crit chance, Show me more. Crit chance, crit what? damage, weapon Still range. The guy's taking acid damage all the way over there as I was coming to this area of the screen. Not really weapon range, there we go. I guess we go chemist kit here. Fire rate does almost nothing, reload does almost nothing. Although it would be pretty easy to use with the massive weapon range and two freezing weapons.
more crit damage. What is that guy doing? He just like skated off screen there. He saw the gigantic beams and he just skated off the screen. Wait, he jumped off the map and killed himself when he saw the beams. What? And now his friend is just bugged out? Wow, those dreadnoughts were terrified of me. Gigantic elemental beams gunner that's so scary. One of the bosses just straight up leaves. Got up to 131% reload with the weapon box plus the encabulator. One of my new favorite combos, although I don't think a beam build makes the best use out of it. Since they already have pretty high uptime, you don't really need a lot of reload for them. Three gold scanners, but we didn't really have a lot of nitro to go with them. Coupons helped out a lot to buy more. We went all in on the weapon damage there. Wow, the flamethrower did only 2 million burn damage. Huh. I thought it would be a bit higher than that. We did get about 47 million for the acid dots with the sludge pump. I think that's the lowest I've ever seen the crispers burn damage before. Wow, and it actually had decent DPS for the build. My number one weapon. That's about 2% of the damage there. 